Hey guys, today I'm doing a totally different kind of video to the ones I normally put out. These videos are just me having a little bit of fun, uh, doing other things I like from just playing guitar. Uh, for example, did you know one of my other hobbies is collecting games? Now I don't mean new games such as for the PS4 or the Xbox One, I'm talking classics such as from the NES, the SNES, uh, the PS1 and even the old original Game Boy. I'm somewhat of a sucker for all that stuff but you can't really blame me. Now I know this won't be as impressive as what you guys might have, but it's a start and I'm slowly building it up. Another thing I like to do is making stuff, like this for example. This is a broken PS1. It broke because I may have put the wrong power supply in and fried the circuit board, but still, I didn't really want to throw it away, so boom, turned it into a clock. Pretty cool, huh? Just see ya. Just see ya. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Recently I saw a video of a guy who made this plastic upside down pyramid looking thing which created holograms using a phone and I was just like, ah, you have to make it. So yeah, let's do this. Right, so what you're going to need are some CD cases. I say cases because you might need more than one. Oh, you non skid piece of sh**. No! Oh, a marker pen, a pen, some scissors, a tape, a crafting knife or something sharp to be able to cut the plastic with, a phone, a ruler, some graph paper, the cutting mat is optional but if you don't want to ruin the surface of the table then I highly suggest it. So you're going to start off by drawing the trapezium, it's going to be 1cm on the top, 3.5cm going down or the height of it and 6cm going across at the bottom. Next, uh, cut it out with the scissors that you have, and this is going to be used as a template. The only part of the case that you need is the actual see-through plastic bit, so the other bit you can just throw away. Now I've actually used a bit of double-sided tape here because I didn't want the template to shift about. I'm going to put the plastic case on top, and I'm going to draw the outline of the shape with the roll and the mark pen, and you have to do this four times. So after you traced out four of the templates onto the case, carefully cut these out with a ruler and the craft knife. So once you've got the four pieces cut out, all that's left to do is just to tape them together. Now I'm not sure exactly why this happened, but when I taped in the last piece, it was really wonky. So the only thing I could do was just to reinforce it by putting more tape on the outside. And there you have it, you've just made yourself a homemade hologram projector. All that's left to do now is to load up a hologram video using YouTube on your phone, put the device in the middle, and sit back and just be amazed. But then also think about that all the time it took you to make it, you could have done something more productive. But still, it's cool, right?
So that's about it for this video. Uh, it's just something different as the channel, so I hope you liked it. Uh, I do like making things like these because I'm into all the gadgetsy stuff, so if I find something else to make in the future, uh, I'll let you all know. Uh, if you make this, uh, let me know how it goes because I'm pretty sure you'll do a lot better than what I did because I snapped like three of the damn cases. Um, so until next time, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.